Hey, good morning guys. This is week 14, day two, spies in the city. So, now Joshua, he's in charge. And he goes up there and God told him, all right, you're going to cross the Jordan. You're going to take Jericho. So, Joshua goes and he gets his two spies and tells them, all right, I need y'all to go sneak across, find out everything you can about Jericho. So the guys go and they're moving around and they're sneaking. And they get inside Jericho. And apparently they get found out. Because the king hears that Israel sent spies in. Now Jericho, they'd seen Israel. And they got scared. And they'd locked everything up. But I guess not in time because the spies got in. And the, they finally find out that their spies are hiding in Rahab's house. And they were in there. Of course, they're in there talking to Rahab. And the soldiers come knocking on the door. Knock, 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 let me in. Open up in the name of the king. So they go. And Rahab. And she's like. Uh, you know, the Israelites oh no, we're trapped, we're stuck. But Rahab sneaks them up to the roof. And they had flat roofs back then. She peels up part of the roof and says, here, crawl underneath of these, uh, it's called flax, but basically leaves and branches. Go hide underneath them. So they crawl underneath them and they are holding really, really still. Rahab goes back down to theirs and says, hey. It's like, yeah, this, you know, sort of, hey, what took so long? And she's like, hey. And it takes time. And now, uh, all right, well, king, we're from the king. There are spies in your house. And she's like, oh, no, they were here. But they left. And the soldiers kind of kind of poke around, but they don't see anything. And when she tells them, it's like, yep, yeah, uh, they, they were here, but they left. And they're probably heading back to the river. If you hurry up, you can still catch them. So the soldiers, they just take off running, grab their stuff, run to the gates, run, start running down to the river trying to find them. And they're searching everywhere for them. In the meantime, Rahab goes back and tells, gets the spies, brings them down and says, all right. Says, the soldiers are gone, but they're outside the city looking for you. So it's, it's a little dangerous. What you're going to have to do, though, is you're going to have to go out into the mountains hide in the mountains for about three days they'll quit looking by then and then you can uh, go back to your camp was, as far as I go it sounds good he's like but why are you helping us we're your enemy and you're helping us and that's when Rahab comes back she's like well you know what we know that your God has promised you this uh, country in our city yay and I'm not going to fight. I want to be on your side. I want to be on your, follow your God. In there. All right. She's like, all I ask for all this, you know, well, what can we do to thank you? She's all I ask is that you give me, I uh, let you spare my family when you take this city. So now they thought about it and they're, okay. Since your house is on the wall. You go and you hang a red rope out the window, a red cloth, and we'll know that's your city, uh, your house, and we won't touch it, and you'll be safe. And then, she, so she goes, all right, I'll do that. And she gets a rope, and since she lived on the wall, it made it really easy. Throws the rope out the window, and the spies climb down the rope, and they run to the mountains. And after three days, they come back, and they talk to Joshua. Back at the campus, down. Hey, those Israelites, oh, those Jericho guys, they're scared of us. God's really given us this city. Oh, by the way, we made a special deal. And they tell Joshua about it. You know, you know they're talking about how all people are afraid. And let's see. So, that's when we find out what Joshua does after that. But, yeah. When you do things and you take risks for God, 
God will reward you. And he'll help you there. You got to remember though. Because you know what happened to Rahab? You know who one of her descendants was? Jesus himself was a descendant of Rahab. Jesus came uh, in there. She's one of the three females listed in the lineage of Jesus. So, which is kind of cool that she got in there. So, you just remember, though, we always got trust in Jesus. Okay? And we do the right thing, and God will protect us. And a lot of times, God will reward us for doing the right thing. So you guys have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. We find out what, what Joshua says after he hears the spies report. So you guys have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.